Hi everyone, Mike Grossman from Tech Promise. I'm going to show you a brief demonstration on how simple it is to download a virus on a computer that's not properly protected and on a network that has no type of filtering uh, to prevent situations like this. Believe it or not, a simple Google search can uh, wind up uh, getting a virus installed on your computer. I'm going to search for snowfall totals in New Jersey because I know that this particular search brings up some results with viruses. This first link uh, is fine, brings us to a legitimate page that gives us our snowfall totals. However, the second link here actually brings us to a page that attempts to install a virus on our computer. A lot of users get tricked by this because they're not sure what it is, they think it may be uh, legitimate, so they wind up clicking OK. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens if we click cancel. It, it gives us the same result. It brings us to this page that mimics a legitimate virus scan program. It looks just like uh, when you click on my computer, so a lot of users get tricked here in, into downloading the virus. When it completes, it's going to pop up a message. It says that our computer remains infected by viruses. Uh, they try to scare us here into clicking OK. And once again, if we click on cancel, it's still going to give us the same result. Uh, this message here looks legitimate, and uh, people may say, oh, wow, well, you know, we just click remove here to remove the viruses. They do that, and they get prompted with a file download. Because it looks legitimate, many users end up clicking run. However, even if you click cancel, it's going to continue to pop up the message, no matter what we do. No matter what we click on, we can't get out of this. So many users end up running, running the file and they click on run again and what happens is in the background the virus is installing now this particular virus uh, gets installed on your computer and mimics um, a, a virus scan software and your only uh, choice of action you get funneled into this this page where you are asked to input your credit card information uh, to purchase the software that is going to claim to remove the actual viruses now, there may not have been any viruses on your computer, but this software tries to trick you into thinking that there were. It takes a, a few minutes here, but in the background, uh, the virus is getting installed. And no matter what we do, we, we can't get out of this. Meanwhile, the, 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 the actual virus is being installed in the background. And in a few moments here, here we go. It says the security tool is successfully installed. Now, this is actually the virus. This is the security tool, and it looks like a legitimate security tool, actually. And here we go. It's warning us that, um, that our computer contains spyware. And no matter what we do, uh, we get prompted with a window like this, and a lot of people get tricked into giving them their credit card information. Now, the problem here is that while this is on here, we can't use our computer because we're constantly prompt, prompted with these virus warnings. And the longer this stays on here, the worse it gets to uh, the, point, the point where essentially your computer is unusable. Uh, the other fear is that a, a lot of these viruses uh, attempt to steal any information on your computer. Uh, they record the keystrokes typed in and they, they send it back to the virus creator. So now that this virus is installed, um, our, our computer is pretty much going to keep on getting worse and worse until it's unusable. In the next video, I'm going to show you how the same situation uh, would, ca uh, would carry on with the proper protection installed. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the second video.